team. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. But first tonight, authorities have released the name of the man killed in a Tuesday night shooting in Vermillion. Uh, police say 38 year old Chase Kinchin violated a protection order by forcing his way into a home armed with a handgun and threatening the two people inside. He was shot and killed by a guest in the home in an apparent act of self-defense. Kettleland's Perry Groden has been going over court papers that reveal some troubling details about Kinchin's past behavior. That's right, Bridget. The months prior to this deadly shooting included an assault by Kinchin and threats of violence against the homeowner. Police say Chase Kinchin fired his handgun at a guest inside the home Tuesday night. That guest then took out a handgun from a vehicle parked in the garage and returned fire, killing Kinchin. Court papers show that Kinchin had a history of violence against the woman who lived in the home. She had taken out a protection order against him back in November after she said Kinchin grabbed her face, pulled her hair, and threatened to strangle her. She said Kinchin also sent her threatening texts. Just four days later, Kinchin violated that protection order and received a 30-day suspended sentence. In February, Kinchin pleaded guilty to domestic abuse and disorderly conduct for the original case and received a 10-day suspended sentence. Then, just last week, on May 8th, the woman filed another protection order claiming that Kinchin became angry because she hired someone to lay flooring in her house. She says Kinchin started throwing elbows at her and got into a running car with a child inside. Just days later, Kinchin would be dead from a gunshot wound. Now tonight the investigation continues, but police say everyone involved in the incident is cooperating. An autopsy has been conducted on Kinchin. 